in the name of Christ, people perform something on the Sabbath. They either get up and go to Einstein Bagels and buy their locks and their cream cheese, and they sit down and they do nothing for God. Or they actually wake up, put themselves together, and go to church and praise the Lord. But are you praising the Lord for what you're supposed to have? Or are you praising the Lord for what you took and didn't deserve? In the life of a man, he knows who he's supposed to be with and who he's supposed to play with and who he's supposed to lay with. But when a man has been incorrect, when he has lied to himself about his rights to another man's wife, he better be ready to prepare his life before the Lord. When you stand before Jesus at the end of your life, what will you be liable for? How many lives have you harmed in your lifetime? How many people have you stolen property from? How many people have you taken their way away from them? You see, the people who keep interfering with me and my lawful wife in front of God's house will be standing before the Lord having to explain themselves to God. It doesn't matter what they believe in. It doesn't matter what their preferences are. It doesn't matter who they loved. It doesn't matter who they had. It doesn't matter. What will matter is what God says to them when he looks at them through his eyes and says, What in the fuck did you think you were doing in my house of God? You see, the house of God is everywhere. The house of God is everything. The house of God is what God chooses it to be, not something man chooses it to be for God. In the house of the Lord, there are many rooms, because God makes every one, but people choose Satan every day. The mongrel on campus that was cutting my face and pinching me and doing everything at night deserves to go to hell for the lies that they told themselves in their bastard Muslim little shit bitch ways that they thought they were in charge of our lives. The little girl whose beagle named Bagel is now in the possession of some Hispanic family. I am worried about where did she go? And what happened to the child that drove his car off the embankment? What were the four shots fired after that? Who in the world is in our force today is a really important question. Because those people are destroying our lives today. Stealing our property. Ruining our families. Destroying our rights to technology. And lying about it every day. A man has the right to tell a beautiful woman he loves her because she chose him long ago. She stood in his home and taught him a tool that has changed his entire moral fabric of his world. Yet she stands in a picture with another proud trophy of a man who doesn't deserve her. And God will be raging at that man when he goes to him in the end.